gee, it's almost as if we have more than one solar wind blowing. I don't know. Some arrogant, pig-headed, fucking ignorant bastards would say I'm wrong, but that's okay. You'll soon find out who's right. If you haven't already. With all these people looking at the five planets aligned, such a big deal, isn't it? When you've got planets bigger than you right behind you, blocking the stars. In the daytime, sometimes you can see these things where we look like moons next to them. They're so huge underneath the Cherenkov. And I, just, I know some of you have seen them. I've seen them. My neighbors have seen them. For five years, I was the crazy man on the block. Not anymore. Color spectrum, EM spectrum. This is different from this. Every time you see a double, it's different spectrums. That means something. Completely different width of bands, completely different colors in the bands. Different spectrum. You can't get that from one light source. That's a known parameter of physics. See, this is a standard in court of law. It's called light spectrum. You have two light spectrums. This is the standard that all light spectrums are held to. See, there is no talking around it. There is no talking about it. D bait over Earth's axis, not the rotation, Earth's axis shifted. Even popular mechanics say so. Every space agency on the planet that knows a lot more than scientifically says so too. Earth's axis fucking shifted, making the sky roll. The moon is confounded now. Duh, that's so fucking hard to grasp, is it? It's so fucking hard to grasp. The moon is wobbling because they had to come out with something because so many people noticed the moon is doing new tricks. All space agencies say the Earth's axis has shifted. Well, it has. So says everyone. Earth's axis has shifted. It is the glaciers, they say, melting that caused it. Earth's axis shifted. Therefore, any and everything you see in the sky, including the sunrise, is different than it used to be for thousands of years, regardless of what fucking stupid idiots like crackhead Lee says, or suspicious observer Ben Davidson, spokeshole for NASA, misinformation channel, paid, produced by NASA and his producer daddy to lie to you, to make you think it's this sun causing all of this madness, all of a sudden, and it's not. In October of 2010, I noticed our moon was doing this each and every night. It will rise and roll 180 degrees. It's never done that before, period. Well, the only reason it has is because our Earth's axis tilted. I wasn't even online, and I don't even believe Scientific Lee had his channel at that time. When I started looking, actively for what was going on. Lee didn't even know anything was going on and is still to convinced to this day everything's normal. It's not just the sun. As you can see, time stamped. It's Jupiter and its moons too. You fucked hard. Everything on the ecliptic is spinning now. Idiot. Two years ago, I told you 
this begins. Begins. It didn't end the day I said it began. I said it begins, and it gets worse every day from henceforth. Lee seems to think that two years ago when I told you it began, it ended. And this is a new situation. He's been telling you for the fucking years that I've been telling you to get ready that it's okay. Don't get ready. Don't get ready. Now, the world knows. And you're caught short if you listened to Scientific Lee. Even though they've been getting a lot of rain, boy, they have a lot of fires. Minnesota, the land of a thousand lakes. A region four times the size of Texas is experiencing its biggest fires ever. In Siberia. Tundra. Huge fires. Gulags. Send you to the frozen tundra is burning in such a large scale that it dwarfs all the fires raging this summer worldwide combined but it's a hot spot in lee you fucking pig while you were laying on your couch having a crack induced nightmare i was standing in front of a senator who i authored the fucking davis hemp bill legalizing hemp in this nation since the tax act you did nothing you sat here and read fucking stories we put out to fool you into thinking something else was happening i stood down because when i found that when russia walks into ukraine our nation is going to be nuked in 2014 i found this out it's pre meditated murder and I couldn't stand to be involved in it and I have been standing sitting here screaming warning to you only to have been poo-pooed by a heating and air conditioning guy you people are fucking following him around asking me questions about a heating and air conditioning guy and what he has to say, go do your homework. I held position of influence in this nation. Lee holds the stupid end of a tape measure because his boss doesn't trust him to give him the right measurement. What the fuck do you think is going on, you goddamn idiots? I used to work for these fucking people. I helped write legislation. I stood down because of every fucking word I've told you since day one, regardless of what Ben Goddamn Davidson, suspicious observer, Mr. 333, or Goddamn Cocksucking Lee, the fucking Christ man, has to say about it. And China will nuke us for the South China Sea. North Korea, just because they can. That is the plan. And if you're not ready for it, I relish the day you become vapor. If you want to know what I said and what you can do about it, Otis first and work your way through these things. You don't have to watch the lives. They're 12 hours long. Duh. But there's a lot of fucking educational videos mixed in here. Lots of them. And more importantly, bit shoot. Because I don't like YouTube. And more of my good information is over here, not on YouTube. A lot of the most important information is not on YouTube. It's here on BitChute. No, I will not leave a link. Do your homework, BitChute. It's easy to find me. They don't try to hide me like YouTube does.